Thanks for joining us. In this short video, let's look at InfoWorks 360 as a real engineering tool. We're going to be looking at highway design, or in this case, large collector design, using a component road with some super elevation. And we're going to look at both the cross-sectional design as well as the profile design using the built-in analysis tools to calculate elevations. You can see as I'm laying out this new arterial that I'm actually getting spiral in and spiral out as I work my way through the curves. That was the orange and blue pieces that you were seeing. Now, with the road design in place, let's zoom into the curve area and take a look at the super elevation that's actually part of this design. Selecting on the road, right click and turn on the show super elevation. And this shows you all of the critical points in that geometry design. Selecting one of those slices, you'll then see a section view displayed for the road. Sliding my slice up and down, either manually or using the arrows on the profile or the section view, you can see the road design update as it rolls through super elevation and back out again. You can also see the terrain reflected as the grading at the edge of the road is reflected in that cross section. If I want to get a better feel, I can also begin to look at the volume of this road design. We can use the section editor as well as the profile view to fully understand how this road design is being impacted by changes I make to the geometry, whether horizontal or vertical. To calculate I simply press the little play button in the lower right of the design panel and it gives me a cut and fill number. Now, as I make changes to my profile, I can see those changes reflected and I can also see them in the cross section view as I go. Notice though, in the cross section view, I have multiple options for how I want to display and review that road geometry. In the lower right corner, of the cross section view, you'll see multiple options. So once I make an edit to my profile by adjusting one of the PVIs, I move my mouse back into the canvas to update my road design. And then I can make changes again using that slice slider and look at different views of the cross section. The lower buttons there reflect a paving view and then a earthwork analysis view showing simply a top section and then a tie-in with cut and fill areas. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, join the InfoWorks 360 community by visiting the website on your screen. There you'll see forums, the idea station for sharing your ideas, and infra tips where you can learn more ways to make InfoWorks 360 a more powerful part of your infrastructure workflow. Thanks again.